Imagine creating any 3D model with just one click. What if I told you that this 3D model was made in just a few minutes by a computer and this one and this and this and also this one here. And the best part, you can create your own 3D models today, even if you have never touched 3D before. This is possible with the help of Tripo AI. Here is how it works. I just had to upload one picture to Tripo AI's website, click one button and wait a couple of minutes. I know what you are thinking right now. Yeah, I have seen tons of these apps before already. Same here, I have tested many. But Tripo AI is hands down the best I have tried so far. And if you don't believe me, totally fair, I didn't either until I tested it myself. You can try it now for free on their website and see it for yourself. But first, let me show you why it's different. We walk through some examples, limitations and what you can expect. Let's start with a quick demo. I have a picture of a spider and I want a 3D model of it. So on Tripos website, after creating an account, I go to generate 3D model. Then I pick one click mode, which is the easiest and fastest way. Choose image to 3D. Drag in the image, hit generate. A couple of minutes later, done. Click the thumbnail and here we go, a spider in 3D. Now I just download it, let's say in USD format and drop it into Blender. That's it. We can now use it in animations, games or anything else. Now, if you want a bit more control, there are extra options. Let's try another example, a crocodile. This time I will go with the build and refine method instead of one click. Still super simple though, upload an image, click generate and wait. We can even retopologize, which gives us a cleaner geometry. Usually that's a painful process in all existing 3D softwares. Instead here, it's one click. Then from here, we can move to texture generation, generate texture, and boom, now it's textured again. You can also refine quickly the textures in some areas if you need to. Tripo helps you with a function that I find quite impressive, the magic brush. Very simple, focus the point of view on the area you want to adjust, generate an AI alternative texture of that view, and simply paint it only where you need. That is very simple and powerful at the same time. You can even generate the texture style with just one click. Click on style reference. Here you can either choose from the preset styles or upload your favorite image. Tripo will generate a texture in a similar style based on the image you provided. That's super handy if you have a specific aesthetic in mind. Now, there is much more. Let's say you don't even have a picture. Tripo also supports text to 3D, which means we can simply write what we want to create and Tripo will generate it for you. Let's try a panda with wings, stylized, cartoonish. Click generate and here it is. Perfect for creating imaginary characters or things that don't exist in real life. Now let's import it into Blender. I'll use the FBX format. Look at that. And here is what really surprised me, the topology. I mean, for us 3D artists, a clean geometry is everything. And the tripo takes care of it in a majestic way. This geometry made of quads, well distributed, is perfect for animations. You can eventually add also a subdivision modifier for increasing the quality of the geometry even more for the render. All right, here is another cool idea. Use Tripo to create a digital double of yourself for making silly effects or cartoons with your person. I used a photo of me and yeah, it worked. Look at that. There is also the segmentation function. Basically, normally you get a single piece of mesh all unified together. But if you want, you can tell Tripo if you want some parts to be separated meshes. Let's say, for example, the clothes, the shoes, and so on. This way you can work easily in the 3D software of your choice later. And by the way, all of this is so easy, fast and user friendly. Tripo can also generate automatically a simple rig for your character. Look, I move to the rigging panel and simply click on auto rig. There you have it. What is a rig is basically like a skeleton that you need for creating your animations later. At the moment, Tripo is capable of generating rigs only for humanoids, which includes humans, robots, whatever has two legs and two arms and a standing position. But I am pretty confident that in the future, we will see more rigging presets. 
there are also some presets for simple animations that you can apply to your model. Now, I want to try to do some fun stuff in Blender with one of these models. Let's let's inflate this character. In fact, I go to Cloth Simulation, play around with the pressure and activating also Shelf Collision. Maybe let's make a ground with collisions turned on and let's see. Yeah, that's that's pretty. You can also use this model for destructions, soft body simulations and so on. So, what makes Typo special? Look, most tools I've tried in the past would generate something that looked similar to the input, but is often a totally different pose or even a different person. With Tripo, the 3D model keeps the exact same pose as the image and is not just something similar. That's a huge deal, look at these models. And also, look at the geometry, it's surprisingly clean. Perfect for animation, rendering or just prototyping ideas fast. I like this type of technology because it's all extremely simple. Now, of course if you are a 3D artist like me, even better, because you can use these models as a starting point and then customize them manually as you prefer, adding details with sculpting, multi-res or whatever. I don't see this technology as a replacement for 3D artists, rather as an additional tool that can help us. So go ahead, give it a try today, test it for free. Here is the offer for you, the first 300 registers to use my inviting code will receive 500 free credits for using Tripo. Discounts up to 60% off. Links and details in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.